In this video, we will derive the momentum equation in the differential form. This is the integral form of momentum equation that we have derived in our previous lecture. The link is provided in the description. The first term in this equation is the body force due to mass of the control volume. The second term is the surface forces due to pressure and viscous stress. The third term is the rate of change of momentum inside a control volume and the fourth term is the momentum flow rate across a control surface that can be an inlet or outlet. In this integral form of momentum equation we have two surface integrals that should be converted into volume integrals and we will do it by using the divergence theorem which relates the volume integrals with the area integrals. At first we will convert this surface integral into a volume integral and when we compare these two surface integrals we can say that g is equal to sigma ij so we will replace g here with sigma ij to have a volume integral in this form. Next we will convert this surface integral into a volume integral by comparing these two surface integrals we can see that g is equal to rho v v and when we replace this g with rho v v we will get the volume integral in this form so now we have all four volume integrals in this equation and we can write them in this summation form in this way so now it is a single volume integral and this equation holds for any control volume it can be written for any control volume regardless of its shape and size this is only possible when the highlighted part of this equation is equal to zero when we put it equal to zero and rearrange the equation it will get the equation in this form which is the compact form of momentum equation in this equation del is the gradient operator which is the divergence of a vector in x y and z direction so we have now derived the momentum equation which is also called as the Cauchy's equation and we can expand this equation into x momentum equation y momentum equation and z momentum equation by using the definition of this del operator where sigma ij is the stress tensor and it has three components of normal stresses and six component of shear stresses so in this lecture we have derived the momentum equations in x y and z direction thank you for watching